Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Anime Health Center. My name is Dr. Ryan. Today we are back with playing Genshin Impact again. Wow, new game. I know, right? Woohoo! So, it's been a while since, at least for me, since I last recorded. Uh, for you guys, it won't really change anything at all. Um, not really. So, um, for today, I feel like we are going to try to do this, um, Zilexi's Fantastic Adventures uh, event, which will grant us Fermine, which is very, very dope, and this furnishing thing we can put in our place, I guess. So while we are doing this, I need to update you guys on a bunch of stuff, right? Hmm? Wait, isn't that the main quest? Well, main quest? Is that... Wait, is that a... Wait, I thought it was supposed to... Oh, wait, it's actually the big boy quest. Oh, oh, geez. I didn't notice. I thought it was like a... Okay, underwater? I don't even know. Is it underwater? Whatever. So let me update you guys a little bit, right? Um, so... I don't know what really I want to say because there's so much things. Let's just keep it to the most recent thing, I guess. Like... Um, oh, what's above? While I was at, like, work, or, or my, my practice place, you know? Um, oh yeah, this is probably gonna start a dialogue here. Uh, I can't I can tell you guys after. There's gonna be a dialogue here, I think. Does he say big main quest? Hmm, like can't be right. Oh, but what if they're real after all? No, that can't be. Mm, but what if there's a chance? Greetings, miss. Is there something that's bothering you? That's, that sounds like me talking about love, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. It can't be possible. Is it real? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing. I'm Della Roche, the representative of the Fontaine Fishing Association. How can I help you? Why does she sound like um, the Lumicine? You know, um, the guard that stands in front of a uh, Nervilet? Place, um, office, whatever. What's his name? Um, Yara. Oh, so no, that's not. I don't know. That's Yara. Oh, Finally, that's yeah. someone has heard my prayers. That sounds like Lumkin. No. Paimon can tell you were really bothered by something. Don't worry, you've got two super experienced adventurers right here. We'll take care of anything and everything for you as long as you pay us a little bit of mora. Great. Oh, you are exactly the helpers I need. See, the problem is that the fish around a fishing spot at Arrhenius have no. just all up and vanished recently. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I I wonder if it's going to be a fishing event. Well, you know, don't tell me I have to, like, fish for, like, specific fishes. Oh, my God. They disappeared too quickly for it to have been days. the work of human anglers. As the representative of the fishing association, I had planned to go and investigate the area right away. Uh, but? <clears throat> right, but unfortunately, as the representative of the fishing association, there are a few other errands that I absolutely have to run, so... So, you'd like us to investigate the spot for you? Exactly, you're right on the mora. So, I thought I could delegate this work to you. Are you two some kind of prophets, knowing exactly what I was going to say like that? Or maybe like the oracles you read about in fairy tales? The oracles? Nope, we already told you that we are adventurers. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing, that's all. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll get a good night's sleep knowing the two of you are on the case. But don't we just need to investigate the missing fish? It really doesn't sound too difficult. No, you mustn't let your guard down. As the representative of the fishing association, I have good reason to believe that the fish have gone missing due to an encounter with the water imps. Water imps? Hey, yes, what's that? You're both what is that? What is right? a water imp? Our local fairy tales often speak of a terrifying underwater creature called Velxi. Velxi. Like I don't know what like what 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 letters you take away when pronouncing something like this, right? Like I how I hope did I say it first? 
I said I said the uh, the Lexi the the Lexi the Lexi. Now they just call it Zexi, something like that, right? Or what did she say? The story Zexi? our parents would Zexi? tell us was always the same. If we went to the water alone, then we'd be snatched away and eaten by a water imp called Duxy. Duxy, Duxy. A child eating water imp? Did they tell you what it looked like? That sounds terrifying. My father would always Mobley, describe Mobley. it as a beautiful, multicolored snake woman. While my mother said it had a handsome face. It's really strange though, because you'd also hear other people describe it as just a chubby penguin with a deceptive appearance. Dude, I would love to. I just randomly thought about it. It does not concern this event or quest or what we are talking about right now. I was thinking about since face cam is like, you, you know, it's very private you know you don't really want to expose yourself like that um at least not me as of yet or ever if i want to um you know but i would like you know like modern days everyone go vtuber nowadays right they have like these models you know whatnot it would be kind of fun to have one of your own like just just like just a little model like it doesn't have to be anything special just just to represent your channel or, or something like that kind of like a represent you like you know even though the tales vary regarding its appearance, everyone agrees that it's really dangerous. Did it, it look lives like in an me in real life, kind of? It bones and uses its sensitive nose to track down lonely children who've lost their way. Like, I, I, the character, I'm just thinking like the characters of this. Should it be like looking a little bit like you or not? Like I think you choose that yourself. I don't. I don't think that matters. Like uh, you just playing the character, basically, right? Kinda. Yeah. Then you, you know, and become once it the finds character. A child, it uses its alluring singing voice to lure them into the water before swallowing them all. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? Dude, this is like the folklore in Sweden. Uh, the uh, um, uh. I forgot the, the 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 lake the lake dude the lake dude, you know, play on his music and make people just just you know dance and then you know and hear the music they fall into the water and you know drown and you know they pass on move on uh, to the next life. Sounds kind of scary. But I forgot to say the rake. No, that's not that's not it. I think that's something After else. All, those kinds of stories are usually made up to help. Keep children away from danger. I forgot what's the name. I don't know, was it Swedish? I don't know if it was Swedish. Or it was like I don't know. I what think if the fairy tale was inspired oh. by a real life tale? Just like how a water vein always has a source. Do you have any uh, concrete evidence? Well, I wouldn't call it evidence per se, but I've heard some rumors lately. They say that someone recently saw a child walk into the water as if he was possessed by something. Doesn't that sound just like he was responding to the call of a water imp? Oh my gosh! So you mean someone really got eaten by a water imp? The story is real, oh my gosh, so scary! It's all hearsay, so it's hard to confirm. But still, they all say this happened on Irenaeus. That's no laughing matter if you ask me. Both the Opera House and the Fountain of Lucene were built there, and the sources of many water veins can be traced to the island as well. Combine that with the mysterious mist, the huge tree with expansive underground roots, and the rumor that the bishops on the island can understand human language. Wow. I also want to try... That's going to be... <clears throat> that's going to be like double work to me. And I don't know how that... How that sounds to me. But I feel like since people now, they have such a short, you know, um, attention span. I'm not gonna say me not included, but I still love long let's play. Like I don't need them to have hundred cuts, thousand edits, you know. I still enjoy how it was back in the days. Like you just like minimum edits and just story, playing the game and whatnot, right? Listen to their commentary, seeing their reaction to the story beats and stuff like that, you know. So basically my idea was to like for say like this event quest right me reacting listening to the whole story 
you know, and not cutting anything from from the video itself. That's usually how I like to do it, right? Um, I never really want to cut the dialogue. I want the whole dialogue, like everything in, every cutscene, you know, everything like that. But what if I made another video, but for the same thing, but edited version? So, so this whole conversation that we are having right now with with uh, the Roach, uh, De La Roach, like it's mostly gonna get cut, like, and then we go to other stuff and they cut there into I know what we are gonna do and you know so it speed up the process a little bit for the people who doesn't feel like listening to the whole um, dialogue even though in this same video technically you could just forward the video just forward the video right but I could make edits you just like to cut cut in between so it makes a bit shorter so instead of uh, this event story for, per se being like a two-parter or something or something like that you know uh to it being a 20 minute video of the, the of the event and, and stuff like that you know i thought it would be a good idea but that just double work for me and usually i don't really have the time right now i kind of will have the time because i'm free for most of stuff the tests and everything are done but i'm just saying i'm just saying is it really so I know it would be a good idea, so but I might try it. In mystery could harbor a terrifying water imp as well? I, ho I hope I hope that sounds like a good idea. I think uh, it sounds like a good idea. It is time I feel like you're pulling our leg. You're just piling on the rumors now. Oh, still, if someone's really been hurt, then we can't just ignore the situation, right, Traveler? Yeah, and also, we are adventurers, and it sounds very interesting. Hey, I'm in. We'll go check it out for you, my lady. Oh, marvelous. Then I'll just mark the stretch of water on your map. Don't forget that no matter what, safety always comes first. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Usually these story events are like two hours long, so prepare for a two hour long session, boys. So basically this event story is probably going to be four-parter. Uh, I assume four or maximum five okay at max five uh okay so meanwhile we're walking here i'll let me tell you about the story okay so meanwhile i was going to i had a practice when you know, at my work right uh, practice i know how you call it um yeah i practiced working at a place okay so with my clients we went on this gym whatever because they they were gonna go there um so i followed them there i did the activities with them and then i met the girl there right um uh and she seemed very, she seemed very interested in me uh at least that's how i perceived it she uh looked at me many times glanced over a lot um because i caught her you know eye connection whatnot and um it could just be she thought i looked super funny she was like what a ugly dude you know what that could possibly be that too you know um, she was willing to talk, she was trying to interact with me a little bit, um, I'm not too familiar with this game, okay, I have no idea what this all means, I just thought, like, what makes sense to- Is oh. this the stretch of water Delaroche was talking about? It I think so. It looks really peaceful. Huh? Look, there are some footprints over there! Okay, I don't want to get too close, because sometimes the dialogue cuts off, so. Oh! Wrong team, wrong team. We have the wrong team on. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, basically I met her there. Uh, we spoke a little bit. We did activities together. We had fun, you know. And she, sh you know, I shot like, like we, at some point in the activity, the trainers were like, okay, now we're shooting love arrows, and we shot love arrows to each other. I dodged her, hers when she shot, um, just because I I don't know. I just instinctively did did it. And I shot one at her, and she just took it and put it in her heart. And I was like, "Huh, that's that's very interesting. That's the, it, it. Felt like it was a sign, but maybe I'm just thinking too much. I think I think I'm thinking too much about it. To be fair, um, but I will I will not gonna let the opportunity go. Okay, I was not gonna let the opportunity go, so I asked her number. Uh, the footprint extended all the way into the water. Fresh. Oh, did the water imp get someone again? 
Let's look around and see if we can find anything else. Okay. So yeah, um, basically what what I'm trying to say is like uh, we tried to text Wait. a little bit. Did you hear something just now? I try I tried to text her a little bit. Sorry, I'm taking part of this event. Just fast forward. You, you don't you don't you don't want to listen. You don't want to. You don't care. You literally don't care. Fast forward a few minutes or something. You know, you will there. I'm just gonna talk about this real quick. Uh, so I text her a little bit, but her wording her wordings are like super short and whatnot. Like you know how you would respond, just like yes, no, yes, like yeah, okay, or something like that, right? Um, uh, let's see. I don't want to bring up everything. I mean, we didn't talk that much, but I feel like she don't interact with the phone as much because usually she answer me either later or in the morning like not so during the day in the morning she would uh answer my 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 thing i asked her or something like that but then the rest of the day if i ask something in the middle she won't answer it until the next day in the morning you know so i just assume either she's not very active on the phone uh or she's working you know she's very busy doing something uh or she is just not interested she's like i don't want to talk to this guy really but she still gives me good mornings uh you know and stuff like that so i don't know some stuff she haven't answered, she kind of low-key ignored it. And today, I tried to call her, okay? And it went, like, I tried to call her, and it said, like, uh, this phone number is currently not avail uh, available. Uh, try, uh, try again later. I don't know what that means. Or she has turned the phone off, or she has blocked it. <laughs> It's either one of those things. The thing is, I have I haven't even done anything remotely close for her to honestly block me. But you never know. Sometimes, it's like, uh, you know, girls. I I don't know. I I I don't know, man. That may be normal. Maybe that's something you just suddenly do. Like, I, you know what? I'm just gonna block. You know. So um, I'm gonna try to call her again later. Um, you know, later during the day and see if she you know turn on the phone then or if the same message or maybe. Try to call her early in the morning when she said good morning, because then technically her phone will be on, right? Or, or something weird like that. I, I, I don't know. Um, well, if she ended up blocking me, well, too bad. Unlucky for me again, because I don't know how to play this game. Like, mate, like this love game is so hard. Like, yes, yes. I'm sorry, okay. I went and looked up, you know, a few tips to see what the meaning of stuff is. But I don't know how to play this game. So I got, I got a bunch of ideas, a bunch of tips, a bunch of this and that. I was like, like some of them were like, yeah, it was good. Some of them were like. Uh, oh, kind of. That's probably a bad sign. So I'm like, it's okay, sign. It's like, it's a bad sign. And also, I asked the eight magic eight ball yesterday. It's like, should I call her tomorrow? Like, it was late at night, right? I was like, should I call her tomorrow? And he said no. I was like, God damn it! I was like, are you sure? It was like, it was like the ma the ball was like, eh, not really. I was like, so then should I call her or not? Yes or no? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. Are you sure this time? He's like, yeah. I I will be sure this time. And then I asked one more time. I was like. Are you sure? He said yes. You just reply with yes. I was like, okay, you know what, motherfucker? If you're trolling me right now, I'm going to be so mad. So that's why I call her today. It went to voicemail or voicemail. Yeah, it, it literally just says the phone number is currently not available. Try again later or something like that. But in my language, you know, I just translated basically. Uh, so yeah, we will see how this train goes. Um, I'm just, uh, I mean, there's, you know, um, wishful thinking. That's how how you say it, right? But I feel like. I don't know honestly what I feel like, but I can just tell at least she's either not interested in talking to me, really, um, and then I don't get why she would ever respond in the mornings or stuff like that, but is she trying to play me like a fiddle, or I, I don't understand, I don't understand how this works, I don't understand. Help me, man. Help me. Gurgling noises can be heard coming from the water. I'm done now, okay? I just wanted to tell you guys this because I, 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 I don't have no one to talk to. Uh, the noises grew louder and louder until something emerged with a loud splash. Splash! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, it's, it's a Fermi name! Hi, Traveler? Hi, Fermi name? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was still wearing this. Remember Ruby's diving helmet? <laughs> Does he always wear the hat under too? Paimon, are you okay? <sighs> Paimon nearly mistook you for a water imp. Thank goodness it was just you wearing your helmet. Huh? A water imp? Uh, we're investigating a water imp called uh. 
Zexy. Zexy. I think that was it. Zexy. Zexy. Something Zexy, like that. you say. Zexy. Yeah. How surprising. So I was doing the same thing. Huh? You know that name too? Or do you know someone else is trying to investigate the water imp? No. I think our situations are probably unrelated. Then could you tell us about what's going on with you? Sure, if that's in order. Whoa, it's not in order, I'm just asking, man. I know the name because of one of my employers. She noticed the clockwork penguins I brought to the workshop and contacted me through the shop's owner. She has commissioned me to make a special toy. Following her request, I've named the toy Thelxy. Thel Thelxy. Thelxy. Is that how you say Thelxy? So you'd say the L, maybe? Thelxy. Huh? But isn't it a little creepy to name a toy after a water imp? Uh, wait, hold on! Revenant, you never take commissions from other people! Yeah, but, uh... She made a special request. But out of respect for her privacy, I can't really talk about it. It's alright though. She'll be coming over to check on my progress shortly, and I'll just tell her that you're two of my trustworthy companions. Hearing that, she might be willing to share some information, and you'll be able to continue with your investigation. I wonder if that person would be the, the girl we talked to. Uh... What was the name? Doshle Dash Do Do Doshle Do My memory don't my memory is bad. Dutchle 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 Ashley huh. <laughs> I don't know. Even though you seem a little cold and reserved sometimes, you're still really considerate. Our target isn't necessarily the water imp though. We're primarily here to investigate the disappearance of the fish. The fish? Uh, Phineman nods slightly and seemed lost in thought that you tell him about the commission from the fishing association. Suddenly, his breath catches, uh, in his throat. Ah, uh, I think I may have connected the dots. What? These past few weeks, I've been taking Thelxy for underwater testing every day. The pressure testing makes a lot of noise. Oh, and that drives the fishes away. So, all that about the disappearing fish? Well, it was probably because of me. Oh. <laughs> so that's all it was? That actually makes a lot of sense. Wait, so could that mean the child we heard about who walked into the water was also... Just Fermnay preparing for another day of work? Huh, we solved the mystery, you guys! Wow, the story just ended right here. This is the shortest quest we ever had. Yes, story I think that's quest. quite likely as well. Wow. <sighs> then they're going to be suddenly yeah, twitched and they're actually it. in war in the drag children to the water and drown them. The the <laughs> might look like, and it all turns out to be just a hoax. I'm sorry. It sounds like I've created a lot of trouble for everyone else as well. I'll try to finish this commission as soon as possible. Once I'm done, the fish should come back. Don't worry about it. It was just a misunderstanding. Yeah, we'd be happy to help. Uh, help. Is there anything we can do? Uh, thanks for offering. But I can't trouble you any more than I already have. Now oh, come on. Hey, it's no trouble at all. Didn't you just call us your trustworthy companions? Companions are all about helping each other, you know? We are trusty, trusty but buddies, buddy. Don't you need to report back to your commissioner? Nope, that's not how it works. See, Paimon's got these commissioner types all figured out, even though we were just tasked with finding out why the fish had gone missing. If we tell them now that it was all just a misunderstanding, you can bet they'd just immediately hand us another commission to help them get the fish back. Yeah. We just really ex <clears throat> we just really experience in this kind of thing. That's all. Exactly. So if we can help you finish up your work and get the fish back, that would save us an extra trip. Hell yeah. Um, is that what you'd like to do as well? Well, I think Paimon's right. Huh. 
All right, I'll trust your judgment. Please follow me. I've made a makeshift camp over there. I don't like saying it like that, but I have a hard time listening to character who speaks so slow. It's like a uh, Sayu, right? She speaks. I feel like, yeah, she speaks kind of slow as well, right? Fermine speaks slow. She speaks slow. I don't know if I remember any other characters speak kind of slow.